I'm Manoj. I'm now standing in Pune in Pune International Exhibition Center, where PMTX is happening for the first time in a very big way after a lull. So PMTX 2024, Zeiss is here with a wonderful stall with a lot of product lines which suits the machine tool, aerospace and other industries. So I'll take you around the stall maybe in the next few minutes. So first thing is our flagship machine, Contura CMM. 7106. A uh, few points about this machine is first is this machine is proudly we can say that this is made in India. So these machines are made at our factory in Bangalore, uh, at our Bomasandra factory. And uh, you know, uh, this is a product from India. So first, this is a make in India product, and the same one is Contura with what is called a multi-sensor coordinate measuring machine. So this machine can, there are many methods of measurement. The probe styles can be different. So this can adapt to an optical sensor or a dot sensor or a continuous scanning sensor or even a simple touch trigger sensor. So this machine has the capability to adapt to various conditions depending upon the component what you would like to handle. If you would like to handle a, a, a typical, uh, you know, simple component, or you would like to handle a blade or an aerospace component where you need uh, the flexibility of multiple angles and holes. So the key here is machine is ready to expand to various uh, component types and cater to your expansion in your company. Uh, this complete setup and it comes with the Calypso software, uh, which is part of the Zeiss quality suit. And uh, as you know, Calypso has the largest installations around in the CMM software world. So we pride on that and uh, relating to Calypso, I must say that we have Occam certified CMM training classes which go on in our portal. So please register to the Zeiss portal to take advantage of learning the CMM, utilizing the CMM and learning the tricks and tips of how to use the Calypso very well. Okay, moving on, I'll take you on to the next. So we are at uh, Zeiss 3D scanning. Portable and handheld 3D scanner for metrology and inspection. Uh, today, you know, uh, Zeiss is always at the edge of technology, right? So we can measure by just porting a coded light on top of the component. So what you see is this is typically called as a blue light. The component is out here. This is sitting on a rotary table. And there is a projector-like light, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the structured light is thrown onto the component. And uh, with a camera, we collect the data. We collect multiple pictures around by rotating the comp rotating the component. Multiple pictures are taken from different angles, and then the software blends everything everything together to give you a STL or your coded data. This is wonderful piece of technology and useful. I mean, it, this is industry agnostic. Uh, whether you are into artwork, whether you are in a museum, or even agri, for that matter, there are some examples. I'm just giving you the extremeness of this technology. This can work at uh, different levels and particularly uh, additive. For example, when you want to reverse engineer, this is a wonderful tool. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you just want a demo, call on us. We could give you a demo and see how this equipment, Carl Zeiss 3D scanning autos can work wonders for you in every industry possible. Move on, let's shift to the next uh, area. So here it is, you know, Zeiss started with microscopes. We sort of made the first uh, lenses with uh, calculations. You know, that was uh, Dr. Ernst Abbe, uh, founder of Carl Zeiss, who made the lens calculations initially. So this is our, uh, you know, uh, product from our microscopy product. And this is called Zeiss Smart Zoom 5, automated digital microscope for failure analysis. See, today we are talking of a manufacturing product development, the key thing is to avoid failures in the field. So failure analysis has become important in every industry possible because the customers do not want to accept failures and uh, you know it gives you a lot of bad name. So in order to understand and fine tune your process, you need to inspect the component at higher magnification to see where is the crack happened. Where is the crack propagation? What is the kind of metallurgical topics which are in the component? So for this, microscopes are key. This is one microscope which can work very well in 
the tool industry and also in the electronics industry. So there's a combination of a microscope, a magnifier, and a contour measurement tool. Is actually uh, you need to uh, you need to have a demo for a few hours on this equipment. You will really get to know the gamut of what this machine can do. Uh, PCB makers, small tool makers, micro component makers. This is a boom because you can do surface finish also to some extent. You can do profiling. You can do a microscopy topic and a metallographic topic here. Uh, wonderful, easy to use software. Talk to us and we will uh, explain you this in detail as you come in. When you come over to our stall at PMTNs. Next would be, well, what is running here is uh, now the Metrotome. That uh, is uh, the cutting edge of uh, dimensional measurement today. So, you know, we normally say our one of our code line used to be that we make it visible. So here we measure parts, measure features, look at uh, look at defects, porosities, cracks, which are invisible. Okay, so we make invisible things visible using this technology called Metrotome. Metrotome stands for metrology and tomography. So tomography is slicing in Greek and metro is metrology. So we have combined the art of X-ray and the art of measurements, which Zeiss has been doing with the CMM for a very, very long time. So we have combined both the technologies together to give you, to make things invisible. So where is it applicable? It's applicable in, in all parts, in all developments, like again, industry agnostic. Uh, there are uh, cases of medical equipment, like insulin pens, uh, uh, inhalers, uh, electric vehicle, lightweighted aluminum components, uh, porosity and crack detection, then fully fit assemblies. Say, for example, even this camera, if you want to figure out what, hap what happened inside, inside something which you cannot open up, then for the first information, a Metrotome is an ideal tool where you can slice through things virtually to figure out what has gone wrong inside. So the industry uses it in, today in India, industry is using it for R&D uh, and for uh, you know quicker development. When you want to develop a plastic tool, this is the fastest way because you can slice through the plastic and then correct the tool. So there is a reverse engineering software attached to this, which can help you. This equipment is available. Uh, also, this equipment is useful for the, uh, the the new electric vehicle where you have the battery technology, uh, the, the the cells and uh, you know the cells and the modules can be inspected in this machine to understand what has gone, ring, uh, gone, gone wrong inside without opening them up. Uh, this equipment is available in all our competence sensor, centers, which is in Bangalore, Pune, Delhi, uh, and Chennai. So people can come in, and if you want to do a, if you want to analyze your connector, or you want to analyze your uh, electric vehicle battery pack, both are possible. You can see the extremes of it. Wonderful technology, come in, and you can do what is called a paper use. Or we do uh, on the on the other side the industry ways we do job work job work of measurement using this technology. Please come in. Okay. Uh, next would be next would be contour record sixteen hundred G, a flexible CNC contour measurement. Uh, contour measurement is you know uh, a two D contour is here as you could see that the equipment is having a sharp stylus of twenty five microns which will run on the tool and try to collect the profile, what is shown out here. Then the profile can be compared with the CAD model, or you could, uh, you know, you could do the 2D dimensions on top of it. Where CMMs end with the, with the probing concept? Contact probing, CMM has a limit because the, 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 the stylus, what you can put in a CMM is to the tune of about 0.5 millimeters, and it's really difficult to do it. Here we talk about a stylus tip of 25 microns. So you could see that, when you talk about fine chamfers, good finish, uh, you know, uh, uh, a refined component. The refinement in a component comes from, uh, you know, comes from how you how you give a finish to the ends, to the surfaces, to the mild contours. They 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 create the difference in fuel injection or in you know uh, or in any interface, any any place where there is a fluid flow. Uh, this kind of uh, equipment is quite important. To understand the uh, the the root cavities, crevices, and the profiles of the components. So this is a two D contour equipment uh, sold in reasonably large volumes 
every industry i would i would say this is a must fit in a uh, must for again reverse engineering simple tools like for example a bottle you need to just pick up the 2d profile to reverse engineer it this fellow can do that very well moving on going down further we moved from a cmm uh, uh, to a contour we'll move down further so here we talk about a stylus tip which is 2 microns in edge so here what we talk about portable surface roughness tester surface finish is as important as metallurgy as important as dimension surface finish is what creates the richness for your component you could have a good component but if you don't create a right surface finish it may not function properly that is why people spend a lot of money in the in the, in the engine blocks the ic engines when you buy a car they say you have to run in you know you have to run in for 6000 uh maybe 3000 uh, kilometers or so the run in is basically you are you are uh, rehoning your engine block for to achieve a certain degree of finish to check whether the original bore was in the right finish these kind of equipments are used in the automotive industry in a large way this uh, this machine servcom touch 50 can provide you with about 78 to 126 parameters different parameters are available don't get stuck to ra there are rz rpk rvk rsk bearing area co parameters for different industries machine tools plastics dies dies and molds aerospace there are different requirements for plating there are different parameters so all these parameters are available in this concise uh, you know uh, control unit which is available here so talk to us if you want to know more about surface finish and its uses let's move on Uh, well i would like to say a word about mastering quality together uh, yeah this is something very important for india today we are at the crux of a, uh, you know explosive uh, explosive growth what is happening in various industries traditional and new generation industries what is important is we should not miss this opportunity we must raise our quality levels to what is desired by the uh, you know uh, by the developed economies so that we serve as a export base of components equipments and tools for them for which you have to master quality we would like to help you in this process and uh, we want to do it together with you so we want you to give us your your hurdles and we would like to see if it is possible for us to resolve it we would do it together so let's master quality together let's move on to stylus so when you talk about a cmm uh, cmm is important nevertheless it's quite important tool but finally if you recollect what touches the part your part is the stylus tip the tip is as good the tip is actually kind of you know to put it in a, a parlance it is tasting the component it is it is it is trying to understand the component uh, uh, as a you know as a as a tool so the tip which contacts a component is as important as all the equipment itself so we are now making stylus tips in india in bangalore for you thereby you know we are evolving our our you know uh, value chain we make machines we make stylus tips we also make probes so we give you the complete gamut of technology so that you excel in what you do so these are variety of stylus tips what are available you can buy it as a kit or you can buy them as individual stylus tips so uh, our engineers would recommend you if you give us a drawing they would recommend you what to do and which kind of stylus tip is recommended again the tip itself can be made of ruby it can be made of uh, carbide and there are some new uh, new tips which do not wear over a long period of time so there are different grading of tips available so uh, you talk to our engineers they will help you select the right stylus tip for your application moving on to zeiss services which is a transform quality data into meaningful insights uh, today you know that you know we all have a plethora of data all right uh, even our own personal data is available in google and various uh, areas but if you recognize you know the data is meaningless unless you transform them into good insights and uh, you might have seen on a personal note uh, you know google throwing you some very nice in inputs in a similar way in zeiss we have a software called fiber where we can collect the data from all the technologies what you saw together and then we can combine them together 
to give you meaningful insights as to what's ha what is happening in your quality process. This is a very underrated software and an underrated uh, topic, I would say. So I think uh, if we have to master quality, it is also important that you look at meaningful insights and for which we can support you. Again, as corporations and as companies, please talk to us. We can help you control the vendor quality. Uh, you know, you can you can sitting at in your uh, in your cabin. You can look at the dashboard of your vendor's uh, manufacturing process. So that is the power of uh, you know uh, PyWeb software. So talk to us to get give you meaningful insights on the quality and the workflow what your component undergoes in your manufacturing uh, methodology. So with this, we come to the end of uh, all the uh, you know the technologies in the stall. Again, I'll invite you to come into PMTX and witness all these technologies and interact with our engineers.